Heck yeah. If you guys want to get entered to win that compound turbo 12 valve Cummins plus $5,000 dollars of cash sorry the hand was a little bit close up five thousand dollars of cash head on over to lmpgear.com subscribe to a monthly mystery box today and get 20 times entries which is the highest amount of entries you can get for this entire giveaway and you can only get those 20x if you grab a mystery box and when it renews in 30 days you get entered to win it again in any other truck that we do as long as you stay subscribed on another note we got all white noise hooked up i'm gonna take the trailer over to my dad's place we're gonna help him do some work today Day. Got a couple things that he needs my trailer for. One of those things is going to be moving his skid loader from one place to the next, and the other thing is going to be loading the trailer down with the skid loader with a bunch of logs. I'm going to do my routine imaginary grid heater cycle. Wait for all the lights to go away. We're good to go. And I know it's a gas truck and you don't need to do that, but I just can't seem to break the cycle. Here we be. Got the King Ranch. The new headlights on, mind you. Still liking them. Still like the headlights, right? Yeah, yeah. He still likes them. We're gonna be loading up the skid loader here. We're gonna go be picking up some is that even English? We're gonna be going, be, we're gonna be going, we're gonna be going to go pick up some huge sections of logs that are at a house in town and then loading them up on this trailer. Hopefully not overloading it too much at the skid loader. It's a 10,000 pound rated trailer, but that's including the weight of the trailer, which was about 2,450 pounds, I think it said on the spec sheet when I bought it. And this thing I think weighs like 9,000 pounds. So I think technically we're gonna be overweight a little bit for this trailer, but I think only about 1,500-ish pounds overweight. Hopefully nothing breaks. We're not going too far, but fingers, fingers crossed. Makes me a little bit nervous. I mean, you know, it's probably safe. <laughs> the trailers technically, we looked at the specs, it's a 10,000 pound trailer, but subtracting the weight of the trailer itself, it says that it can handle 7,200 pounds on the trailer in addition to the trailer weight, and this thing weighs 8,450 pounds. So technically overloading it about a thousand, give or, give or take a thousand pounds. We'll see how this goes. It doesn't look terrible. I mean, it doesn't look any different than it does when I put a 7,500 pound pickup truck on it. Strap it down and send it. Start going like this down the road. But then we know to stop. Yeah, just, just floor it, right? We just thought about this too. This is the first time hauling the skid loader. It's the first time. So far, going 30 mile an hour and under, it's doing pretty good. It's doing awesome. <laughs> it's too... Only power strokes can do that. <laughs> oh, you talk about scary. I grabbed that log with the tractor because he's got the skid loader dropped off at the place we're picking these logs up from. And I didn't get any video over there because there was just too many house addresses too close by and I didn't want to, you know, put anybody's information out there. But we actually picked them up from a couple of guys that actually do watch the videos, but we got these logs out of the yard. The skid loader he has, my dad's SSV 75 or SS 75, I don't know what it is. It's a Kubota skid loader. No problem picking them up, throwing them around, putting them on the trailer, didn't, didn't bounce around, like totally awesome because the weight and counter balance and everything is totally different. The tractor, on the other hand, it's a 60 horse Kubota tractor, an MX series. Rear tires both came way up and I was on the front two tires with this log. <laughs> Got you puckered up, huh? <laughs> you wanna lower your rear? 
Hitch here so I can get on. Yeah. There we go. This is how you get your counterweight. Careful, you might go fly. <laughs> no kidding. Just remind me, I gotta get these tires on. Yeah. Weighted tires would help. It's hard to abuse a tractor if you don't have weighted tires. Like you're taking the wedge with you. What's so funny is that same piece of wood almost completely dumped over his MX6000 Kubota tractor. These skid loaders, the weight ratio to the machine and how compact it is makes a huge difference. Like a 60 horse or even a 75 horse tractor compared to a 75 horse skid steer. If you're doing a lot of lifting and moving of heavy crap like this mostly, doesn't even compare. The weight distribution and everything and how much you can handle, totally, totally different. I mean, this thing's just more in its element than the tractor doing this kind of thing, but, um, which understandably so. I don't know how big those logs look on camera, freaking huge. I mean, they are really big. So you're probably wondering, why did we go just to go pick up a couple of giant pieces of wood out of somebody's yard? Totem pole, baby. Totem, totem poles. poles. Yeah. Like little mini totem poles, I think. I, I've always wanted one of those in my garden. I think <laughs> if you're going to go big, go bigger and do four of them. Yeah. So, not really. We should just show. We should we just should show. show We're just gonna shoot. I mean, yeah, yeah. We'll go. What I'm doing is I'm building the yellow brick road. Something that I've wanted to do for a while. I've had different ones, but this is gonna be one that I'm pretty excited about, which is a shooting range. We're doing shooting drills for cool people or wannabe cool people. Yeah, I mean, if you if you if you're into that kind of thing. So we're clearing out a little path that goes back into these woods. And it all looked like this, by the way. I mean, it was it was nasty pretty job. nasty. Yeah. So we still have a lot of work to do, but we're gonna make it to where we can come down through here. I'm gonna put a couple different shooting lanes throughout, so you can do running drills. It's not just stationary targets. And then when I come over here, I wanted to come down this slope a little bit. So we're trying to clean this bottom section out. And I have a bunch of 4x4 four four posts I'm going to put in the ground, and then we're going to put railroad ties so then they can have different targets throughout within one big backstop. Heck yeah. The and then if you look in the distance, there's the dam, so um, it should trap lots of. Well, let's be real. When you're good, other than an occasional ricochet, you should be hitting your target. You should, you should be. <laughs> But in the scenario we don't, the dam, if you see if you see where my hand is right there, that's how high up the dam is. And the elevation change is actually pretty, it's more drastic than it looks. Yeah. If you want to hold this for a second, I'll go walk down there so they can see just how far down it goes. It actually goes down pretty, pretty good here. Yeah. So, still got some work to do. Be, be a lot of work to do. Cool. So, if you're wondering, that's why we went into town and picked up some logs to 
I didn't have to shoot. Logs. Yeah, you know, like it's it's one of those things. It's like I don't know where we're gonna get logs. Right. But logs that size. Right there. But anyway. Yeah, it's just uh, they took down a tree. It was extra wood, and they figured, hey. You could actually stand them up. And I mean, they're pretty. I mean, they're they gotta be four foot tall. Yeah, my thought was. And they're like three foot if round. We take some of the bigger pieces, or even like if we fell when we fell this tree, if we take those and just notch it out with like a little bit of a B and set those, and then that way it elevates those bigger ones off the ground yet, so they're not down on the ground, or maybe a couple of those, and then just stack them, and then that way they're up higher, so you could either shoot it, I haven't fully decided, or you can do running drills to get down on it, you know what I mean? So. Either way, you've got some gigantuous logs to work with, so that'll be cool. We're gonna stand one of these up and try to test the theory of them being nice vertical logs to shoot because they're so massive. That's a big target. Says if you can't hit that dude, you're done. <laughs> well, this is it. This is the end of this video. However, guys, if you want to get entered to win this 95 12 valve Cummins here, it's a compound turbo truck, makes over 700 horsepower. The thing is freaking sick, a lot of fun to drive, big turbos, two of them. It's a blast. If you want to get entered to win this thing right now, you can go to lmpgear.com. Purchase a mystery box. It's gonna get you 20 times entry towards winning this thing. And somebody's gonna win this truck plus $5,000 cash. And if you didn't hear, Cody from Illinois just won our previous giveaway, LMP DG30. It was an 0759 Cummins plus five grand. And he was subscribed to a mystery box for a few months. And next thing you know, he's taking home a truck and he's freaking excited, which he should be because it's it's freaking sweet. And so if you wanna do that, head on over to lmpgear.com, get entered to win this thing plus the five grand by purchasing a mystery box and subscribing to one of those. And uh, guys, cannot wait. And hopefully guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you have not done so yet, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.